conversations uh, late last week. And what was that like for you guys? Maybe some uncertainty with this situation. Uh, we just bonding. Uh, he's, he's like our brother, so if he had a problem, he was going to be there to help him with it. So that's about it. He said, you know, you and Tyler were talking about him that when he was, you know, maybe considering transferring. That you guys had talks on Thursday. Did you guys have to talk him out of it, or did he just need to come around a little bit? It, it just needed to calm down. But uh, we was there for him, just talking to him, just saying everything be all right. Yeah, we're gonna be here for you, whatever you want to do. So. Kind of goes without saying the Im impact it has for you guys when you went down. If you were out without Derek, that would be a pretty big blow to what you guys are trying to build. Off yeah, that uh, I definitely felt I felt like what he was talking about. Um, like when he wasn't there, I was I was tired, I was beaten, we got double teamed and all that. So when he came back, I was really excited and happy. And I got to get my rest sometimes on the other side. Is he? I mean, is he looking all right to you guys in practice? As committed as as focused as you can see? Yeah, kind of I think the talk the talk that we had put him put him at 110 percent. So. Uh, he he doesn't have any more distractions. Uh, he's a hard worker and he's ready to work. Just how much do you think he just needs to have a couple of quiet months for, for the rest of the team? That there's not a distraction. I mean, yeah. I think that helps. I said he just needs his friends there for him. That's all. I think just somebody by his side. Uh, I don't want him to feel him alone in his uh, in his organization. So. Your conversation with him was it more of him apologizing or are you saying this is how it's going to work? Or? Uh, we just we were just there just to understand what he what he was going through, basically, and um, we was telling him this is who's going to be if you're not with us, and this is how it's going to be. So we just tried to give him the easy way. How do you how do you feel going into the team? Are you surprised you've not had any limitations at all? Or is any nah, nah, or anything? Uh, nah. My physical therapist uh, John Dean told me how it was going to be, and so far he was right. Uh, I ain't got no pain or anything. I'm coming back stronger than I was before. You don't have any fears that. Cutting and, and doing. Oh, nah. Um, all my cutting's good and everything. Uh, even landed on my left leg today and it was straight, so I, I think my fear's out the window now. Justin, I know you want this to be over with, but is there a sense when you guys go to practice that you look over to wonder if, if 21 is out there or going to be out there, or do you think that's that's pretty much in the past now? Uh, it's in the past. I, I don't know if he's here to work now, so uh, he's, he's threw it out the window and he's ready. How much, even in practice, how much of a different feel is it out there for you as a receiver and for the offense to have him out there with you? Uh, it's great because I know, like when he does something good, like we're all happy and everything. We're all into it. When I'm doing something good, he's into it. So uh, we just out there helping each other. Justin, are you going to be able to scrimmage at all this week, like in a green jersey or anything? Uh, I haven't had word on that yet, but hopefully we'll hear that soon.